Hi, she was sitting. I'm back. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen all these videos floating around on Facebook with Donald Trump and how he is so evil and rude to his wife, Melania. I know a lot of people are saying, well, that's what that's what she gets for being a gold digger and blah, 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 blah. But I have to tell y'all one thing, okay? I don't think she wanted to be first lady in the first place. And second, she's a mail order bride, okay? He thought that because she was an American and she was foreign, that she was going to be very submissive. And that's why he can talk to her and treat her like that. Because, you know, that's how a lot of those mail order brides are. And, you know, he's a millionaire, billionaire. I don't know how much money he got, but... Basically, she's probably, you know, in a horrible relationship. <laughs> um, and you know she married that ugly, old, disgusting looking man for money. Okay, we already know that. She got that lifestyle. And I'm sure she just puts up with it for the lifestyle. Okay, like they have kids together now. You know, they probably don't even live together, like, before the election. I'm pretty sure they did not live together. They probably had different suites in the Trump Tower. They probably did not live together. Um, and it's probably just keeping her on because it's cheaper to keep her, right? But someone asked me in the comments to do a video on, like, what if you have a guy who's very wealthy and very financially secure and takes care of you but it's mentally abusive to you what do you do y'all really want to know because <laughs> i got a good plan okay you save money you get money you save it invest it hide it say you're going shopping and go put all that money in a separate account over the years save it up real good you know and when you're ready to leave, just leave. You have all your money, you know. Um, or you know, you only allow people to treat you that way. You know, it's not them doing it; it's you allowing them to do it. Okay. If you videotape it, if you document it, if you say, "Look." I'm not going to let you treat me like this. I don't care how much money you have, you know. I can go get another one, just like you, with even more money. Okay? you got to remind them who you are. All right? Look, just how I got you, I can go get another one. Okay? Because a lot of women, they forget. Once they get this man with money, then they feel like, oh, I'm so lucky. Da, da, da. But you remember, you got him. Okay? You got him. That means you can go get another one just like him or with more money. You know what? So don't ever forget your power and that you got that person. <laughs> you know, what I would do is start working on plan B. Backup plan on the DL, on the download. Go out and interview other people for his position. You know? A lot of people are, they, they let their morals stand in the way of their best interest. Okay? If you're in a bad relationship with somebody who has money, just start looking for his replacement. Upgrade, God. You know, I tell women all the time, look, maybe he was just your practice man, you know, and you know what to do in the next relationship. So, say you get the man who got all the money, but he sucks and he's boring and he's mean and evil. Okay, save your little dollar, save your pennies, get all that money. Start interviewing other candidates to replace him, you know. While he's at work all day, while he's doing what he needs to do, you do what you need to do. And you go find somebody better and with more money. And it really pisses him off if you leave him for somebody with more money. Like, really? Okay. Um, but don't tell don't tell the guy that you're trying to replace him with the sob story. Mm -mm. You say, you know what? I'm about to leave this person and I'm like... You know, I've saved up money. I'm getting ready to get out of this relationship. I think you're pretty interesting and blah, 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 blah. Let's see, you know, can we have some fun? Don't treat it as, oh, I want to jump right back into a marriage or into a relationship. No. 
treat it like fun like this these are the only type of guys i date so me dating you or a guy with money is no big deal okay because i'm already dating a man with money so it's easier to get another man with money if you're already dating a man with money because they see you almost as an equal or you know you're not after him for his money because you already got money with this other guy you know what i'm saying and you're used to that so it's normal for you okay so that's answering that question okay now back to being treated bad when you say you can't leave this person and you want to improve things we'll just start treating him the same way bad you know don't ignore him like ignore him whenever he comes home don't speak don't cook don't do nothing you know go on strike just collect the, the money and go um and yeah i wouldn't uh, a lot of women ask okay well what if your man he has money but he doesn't give you any and you're at his mercy take his watch take his jewelry you know go buy it go get your money you know if you're dumb enough to be with a man who has money but won't give you none, then that's your fault. You know what I'm saying? The whole point is to get into his head mentally. Okay? That's the game. Not scoring a, a man with money who won't give you none. No. You got to get in his head. You got to get in his pocket. Okay? <laughs> um, so you got to figure it out. You have to think and you have to say, okay what is it that I can do to make him give me more well that's easy hey I'm getting ready to go work I'm gonna go back to work I'm gonna be working nights <laughs> um, and all of a sudden suspicion will come in well why do you have to work nights where are you gonna be working at now he's thinking you're gonna go see another man well, you don't have to work. I'll give you an allowance. How about, how much do you need? Why are you going back to work? Oh, well, you don't give me any money. So I figured you don't have it. I wasn't going to ask you because I don't know how, how well you're doing. You know, obviously you must not be doing too well if you can't afford to give me some money. So I'm just going to go work. And I work at night and I'll be able to be back around 2 a.m. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, no. <laughs> I'll give you money that's it that's how you get them you always threaten to go do something that you know they don't want you to go do okay well, i'm gonna go work you know and they don't know where you're gonna go work you know like, oh i might get a waitressing job I always say waitressing job because that's that's code for either stripping prostituting or going to see another man who has money that is going to take you out and spend time and money on you that's code for that because you leave at date time, you come back at after um, last call. Okay, that's a waitress shift. So, that's cold, y'all. Yeah, I'm swinging these things around because they're in my way. I'm getting ready to put them down. But, yeah, that's cold for you can't give me what I need. I'm going to go get it. Okay, ladies, don't be afraid to call their bluff. Okay? And if they let you go out to work, go out and find a man to replace him. Okay? You found him, you can get another one just just as good. So, um, I know a lot of these videos about Trump are going around and how he treats his wife bad versus how Obama treated Michelle so good and da 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 da. Well, you know she married that fool only for his money. You know she didn't love him at all. Now that's a true gold digger. <laughs> she never loved him. Now, there's some women who will marry and for money and love, okay? Um, or for potential and love and da-da-da. But this is obvious a mail-order bride situation. She was a model. She posed nude, you know, um, not anything against her, but she did what she had to do to come up. And I don't blame her, you know? But I, I know that's why he didn't choose an American woman. Because if an American woman had been put in her shoes and he was mean and evil and rude to her like that in public especially on inauguration day she would have told him something made some kind of ugly face to him or knocked him upside his head okay i'm pretty sure of it <laughs> or come out with some type of 
um, article as to why he's evil and rude after a few months of being in the White House and getting tired of it and says, hey, I can make more money off of interviews and writing a book and I don't need this fool anymore. <laughs> you know? I know that's what I would do if I was, if I was Melania. I would stay in the White House for one year and then I would like divorce this fool and then I would write a book and then I would call up his ex-wife Ivana Trump and get some some ideas from her because that lady was smart that was the best gold digger ever um, he thought she was dumb he thought she was some uh, Russian uh, mail order bride but she quickly learned the American way and got his cash and I don't blame her because he's a you know he treats those women so bad and to how he talks about his daughter ugh, you know I say he deserves to get taken for all he has and more and exposed I mean why not um, anyway that's that's all I really have to say about that and I hope that answered your question so make sure you always know that you're able to upgrade on anybody don't forget how you got that person and how you can go get another one okay I'll see y'all later bye